Hello, my name is Richard. This is my fourth video tutorial on Coursera for an introduction to interactive programming in Python. Today, I will be doing a very short video on velocity control and collisions and reflections. So the first thing I would like to do is show you a quick coordinate plane. And if you watched my week three video tutorial, you know that I introduced this coordinate plane and said the canvas is basically this quadrant four. This is the mathematical term for the lower right corner of this coordinate plane. And also I said, block out all of this in your head and just have this little box. The reason I pulled up this is that if you did any research whatsoever or watched any of the videos from our teachers, then you know that there are things called vectors. And vectors are what we are going to use for our velocity x and y coordinates. And you know that there are lists that we put these in. So vectors are practically name them points on the map, though they are not points on the map. They are moving of points on the map. So if you said, so let's start at the origin, zero, zero. And you said that the vector is four and two. Remember, down is positive now. Forget the negative sign, just positive. So four, two, what will we do? Well, we would go four to the right. So one, two, three, four, <coughs> sorry and down two, so one, two. And then we would do that again and again until there would be a straight line forming and that is how we record our motion with velocity. Now, if you watched the video that I'm talking about, velocity control, this is the code that the teachers gave us, the second handout, in fact. And the way this thing runs is that you can control the velocity of the ball using the arrow keys. And in the right console, it prints out the coordinates of the ball at any given time, or actually the given time that you click the arrows on. What I'm going to show you is how to create a reflector wall on the left side and on the right side. I would show you the top and bottom, but I'm afraid that might violate the honor code for our mini project, Pong, which is due on Saturday, I believe. So, the first thing is introduce this. And apparently I already wrote in this code. So, what this is, is drawing the things in the list and changing them based on an if statement. Let's go over it. If ball zero, so according to Python list type, zero is always the first thing and one would obviously be the next thing and zero is the first because Python always starts with zero so ball zero would be 300 as recorded in the global variables if it if 300 I'll just replace it is less than or equal to radius so let's check what radius is radius is 20 so if 300 is less than or equal to 20 well that's obviously not correct Velocity zero is equal to negative velocity zero. The only case that this happens is if this ball on the side hits the edge. And if it hits the edge, actually now, right now, if I can only get it to have contact with the wall and not move. So something like that. Oh boy, isn't that funny? I can't get it to touch the wall, and I'm really good at all the other video games. All right, well, just say this is touching the wall. This middle of the ball is how Python records the first coordinate. And right now, it's actually equaled to the radius, 20, because that's how far the radius is from the side, and this activates. And this velocity zero is equal to negative velocity zero is saying reverse the direction of the horizontal type but not the vertical type and so it would bounce in a believable way and so this is the program and 
let's bounce it off the left wall from an angle. So let's create like this. And it does bounce in the way that we think it would. And if you just were very observant at that second, you can see that it bounced off the right wall too. That's this next if statement. So let's just, now it won't go anywhere. If ball zero, so same thing, 300, or as it changes, is greater than or equal to 600 minus radius. The reason for this, 600 is this line. So 600 is this line. We want it to bounce off the line. <coughs> Sorry. Again, Python does not record the side of the ball as the position. It records the middle. And that's very crucial if you want to build your Pong game and that it works. So it's in the middle. Say this is touching the wall again because I can't make it touch the wall. So this is uh, 580 because the radius is 20. If 580 is greater than or equal to 600 minus radius, so that is 580. So it's equal to right there. It's equal to it right there. Velocity zero equals to negative velocity zero. So it's doing the same thing as this. Now, a little experiment that I have not tried before in this video. Let's try it. Instead of having a greater than or equal to, let's just have an equal to. Does it still bounce off? No, it goes out the window. And it's, what? For this one. No, it's pulling it back. It won't let it pass. Oh, that's actually really funny. And But for this one, oh no. Oh no. It's going to block it out, isn't it? And as you can see, the coordinates of this are going nuts. It's actually flying that way. So let's restart it. So as you can see, this doesn't work. And why is that? Well, in Python, a lot of things get glitchy. So it's better just to do this. And so, let's see if it works. Sorry about that. And this is it. Practically, this is all you need to start off on any project with motion and with bouncing walls. This will help with all kinds of things in the Pong, though I didn't actually tell you anything that would help you. So, the ball is just reversing velocity. And that's actually the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's such a short one, but I really don't have anything else to go over except for the fact that Keyboard input is just how key is an integer, and that key map left, simple GUI key map left, is just the way to document the integers of any key on the keyboard. So it's that simple. All the things from this week I actually covered. Lists, we covered that for a velocity and ball if you don't understand it. It's practically, you need the square brackets, signify a list, even empty square brackets, empty list. You need the commas to separate values, and that's basically it. <coughs> Keyboard input. It's practically just the simple key dot key map, the key that you want, key down key, and key up key, if you want to know that too. And that's all there is to that. Motion, we covered that. As you can see, it's just the different coordinates of an object. And I realized while watching my video in between things that this probably looks very choppy to you. Well, the reason is that my, s my computer is running Screencast-O-Matic, and that's not a very good program. If I used Fraps, it will probably record a lot better. In my screen, it looks like it's moving with real motion. So, uh, be warned. If you have a slow computer, it might look like it's choppy, but on other people's computers, it probably looks really smooth. So... Just rely on your instincts to know whether that or that works. Collisions and reflections. I definitely covered that. That's all we did today. I did negative velocity, the left and right walls. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not allowed to show you the top and bottom. Otherwise, we could create a really fun game by just bouncing the ball around with random velocity. And let's see programming tips thank you professor grinder for your all important programming tips well those are pretty self-explanatory pong i can't tell you anymore i practically gave you step one to four so uh good luck with that and that's really it i hope you comment 
like on Coursera. If there's anything wrong with my videos besides my all too obvious laryngitis and cold from my nose and throat, um, please comment. It helps me tremendously when I read your comments. Thank you so much for all of you that have commented before and still comment every time I post. On YouTube, feel free to comment too if you have an account there. Same thing. I love comments. My favorite thing to do is read comments. No, I'm just kidding. I have a life. Well, maybe not. All right. We'll see you. Thank you very much again. Bye-bye.